Hello there, my name is Leon, and I'm back again with another video, uh, but I'm not going to talk about Sly Cooper. This video is mainly about The Walking Dead Season 10. Uh, keep in mind that I will mention things that happen in Season 9, so if you haven't watched every episode of Season 9, you probably don't want to watch this video because I don't want to spoil anything for you, so you have been warned. So let's start with the things that we already know. So, if you see this image to the left here, this image was posted on uh, Norman Reedus' Instagram. I believe he posted it on the 6th of May or the 7th, one of those two days. So, that pretty much confirms that they are they have started with the filming of season 10, you know, episode 1, etc. And I'm, I'm gonna be honest, seeing this image makes me kind of sad because this is going to be the first season that we're not going to have Rick Grimes with us because in season 9 I mean I know he was only in 6 episodes but no wait he was in 5 episodes sorry uh, 5 episodes in season 9 but this is going to be the first time we, where we're gonna have an entire season without Rick and that's gonna feel very different but Season 9 was a very good season. It's probably the best season in a long time. Um, but it also makes me happy because I'm re I'm really looking forward to watch season 10 back uh, when it comes back in uh, October, I believe. Yeah, October of this year, we're going to get the first episode of season 10. So I'm just going to go over the things that we do know. And then I'm going to talk about things that we don't really know, but... You know your speculations so this season is going to be a lot about the war between the uh, the, the war between alexandra and oceanside etc against the whisperers so that's going to be the main focus of this entire season uh, the thing that i'm kind of speculating about is that are they going to have the entire season about that or is it that half of the season is going to be the war and then the then the next half the last half of season 10 is going to be about something else I, I don't really know personally I wouldn't think that they're going to have this entire war stretched out over 16 episodes because you know, all out war. I mean, the entire season seven was a complete mess, in my opinion. And I don't want them to stretch it out and make it boring. You know, I want them to have, I want every episode to feel like, oh, something happened, something progressed. You know, in season seven, it was like you could skip three episodes and nothing happened. Uh, so I really don't think they're going to do that, but they're going to have a war with the Whispers. There's going to be a lot of deaths. Uh, speaking of deaths, there's also another character I want to talk about, and that is Michonne. I mean, I don't think Michonne is going to die. I just think that, I mean, they have already confirmed that she's only going to be in a handful of episodes. So a handful could be five or six episodes similar to rick or andrew lincoln so let's say that she's going to be in five episodes will they kill her off no i don't think so i think that michonne is going to leave because she found out that rick is still alive but there is still a problem with that if she leaves what about judith and rj i mean we already know that the, the actress Kaylee Fleming, you know, the actress for Judith, she got a better contract, so she gets paid a lot more now for this season than the last season. So I don't think that she's going to leave the show. So what I think is going to happen is uh, Michonne and RJ, they're going to leave this place. They're going to leave Alexandra and try to reunite with Rick Grimes and then I think that Michonne and RJ will be a part of uh, the Rick Grimes movies uh, that's what I think but I, I don't think they're gonna kill her off because she's going to be part of the movies um, then something else yeah I want to talk about Negan 
I think that Negan is going to be... I don't think they're going to lock him up because he has proven several times that he is trustworthy. I mean, he was the only one that ran out, uh, ran after Judith and tried to save her. Well, he didn't try. He did save her and the dog. So I don't, I wouldn't understand why they would lock him up because they have lost so many people fighting with the Whisperers. I mean, they need every single person that they can in order to fight the Whispers. And Negan is a very good fighter. He knows how to deal with other groups. So I think having Negan by your side is going to be necessary to win the war. But this is my opinions. If you have any other theories or speculations, please let me know in the comment section. And have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.